there's the PCB I designed, taken from a schematic from those great guys at Make Magazine. Um, put this in Eagle and, and got it printed up. Try to make it as small as possible, so it's only you can see it's quite tight. Uh, and there's the finished one. So yeah, it's uh, got to give it a test to make sure it works. I'm calling it the Pew Pew circuit board, but pretty much just makes some cool sound effects. So we'll get this tested, wired up and tested to make sure it works okay. Uh, I'm fingers crossed it does. There's an optocoupler there. Uh, there's an op amp there. That's a 386 and I forget what this is, 40106. Um, hex converter? Is all there? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, so we'll give that one a, a try and uh, make sure it works. I put together a on the circuits and a bit of a test rig to make sure this thing works okay and it does. So I have the two one million pots already in place, one there and one on the other side there. Um, that's the 100k pot which will go on the other side of the drill, or the gun. Um, I just want to put this together, make sure everything works okay. So you can hear it does. Which is awesome. Next thing to do is put this little circuit inside the case of the old drill and I've also got a flashing LED which I'm gonna put inside there as well. So I'll give this like cool uh, flashing flick effect coming out from the inside of the gun. So the first thing I'm going to do is to solder. Solder all these wires into this little circuit. Um, I'll make them a bit longer than I need to obviously just so I can trim, trim them. It's better trimming than having to redo them. So I'll start with doing that now. Get this wired up and then we'll work out how it sits inside the the ray gun itself. Alright, so the first thing I'll do is just add some solder to each of these little solder points. Didn't have to add these right angle pins, but it's a good idea when testing. It makes things easier. I could have just soldered the wires directly to the board. On this board it says 1 million for these, this one here should be 100, that's a 100k pot. Something I fixed up in this, on the board itself and on the GURB files, but yeah, just a little mistake. First one done, another five to go, so I'll do those off camera because it's pretty boring to watch. And yeah, we'll get it all wired up and then we'll work out how we're going to fit this or where we're going to put it inside the uh, ray gun. All wired up, no place to go. Well, actually, it's got a place to go. That's going inside my gun. This is the speaker I decided to go with. It's an 8 arm 0.25 watt speaker um, and it's untested. So I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it'd be fine. The reason being I'm going to go with this is because it fits pretty nicely at the back there, I think. So I'll just put a couple of drops of glue on that just to hold it in place. I'll solder the wires from the circuit to it. Worst case scenario is I put it all together, it doesn't work, then I just need to make sure that I can get it out, which I will be able to. So this is the little 555 circuit I put together with a couple of flashing LEDs. It's got a pot to control the speed, so we can have some nice slow flashing, and we can have some super fast flashing, and you can leave them on as well. So I'll incorporate that within the gun. I think the green will really give it that 
nuclear radioactive feel, um, which I'm sort of going for. So we'll get uh, cracking on bringing this into a circuit and we'll move on to the next steps. These are the two circuit boards, well three little circuit boards including the battery charger slash voltage regulator. But these are the three circuits that I'm going to have to fit into the ray gun. This is the flashing circuit and you can see I've just soldered the LEDs directly. What I'll do is I'll bend those out, work out which way, how I want those to uh, direct a little bit later on. And what I'm thinking is putting everything onto this little bit of plastic. So you would have the pew pew effects there, maybe actually it goes this way. So and then uh, there's a lot of wires and bits and pieces. So I'm going to have to put everything together later on but it will be stuck there like that and then underneath I'll stick the battery here so that will slide into the gun and I'll show you where so here's the gun and that will slide in the back there and then all the electronics will just be on this I've got everything soldered now connected the only thing I have missing here is the 100k pot for the flashing LEDs and when I connect the switch you can hear how loud that speaker is, I mean So, this is where we're up to I've secured the circuit board, I had to glue that in, I mentioned that before um, I used super glue originally that didn't work so I've used some rubber type glue and that's held in place. I've also got the speaker mounted up the top there, you can see that there. Um, I was going to have it where one of these vents were but these posts or pin posts here, the secure posts, um, got in the way, well the speaker got in the way of them. So I've yeah managed to secure everything, um, yeah, everything works fine. And then the lights. So the next step is to, well it's the final step, it's putting it together. Okay, time to put this baby together. Be careful these wires, I'll just try and tuck those up. Okay. Okay. I've only got one of these which go into here. The never can thing come with the other one, so I'll secure one of them, it should be enough. That one's going in easy. I'm hoping I never have to undo this ever again. So we'll turn it on. See the green light? How cool is that? So that's it! Compl well, <laughs> no. Last thing I want to do is make a stand so it sort of sits up like that. I've got to be careful of the micro USB there, but I'm thinking of putting a, a rod up there and using that as a stand. Uh, maybe something underneath here just to hold it. But very close. Well, in all intents and purposes, we're done. Finished, complete build. I made a little wooden stand here, you can see. I put some uh, aluminium strip here, a little aluminium rod to allow it to sit on. So, I'm going to turn it on first. You can see the light in there. It's controlled. Whoa. So it's got all the sound effects, um, yeah, so that's it. Build has been done. 
if you want to see how to build the circuit or so see how I built this gun, there's a step-by-step -step guide in the description to my instructors page, so check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching.